Hi everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and I have something very special to share with you today about the Lord. And this is something that he actually wanted the people to know and so he specifically revealed this to me to share with the people. So uh, today it's going to be about the beauty of the Lord. Okay, so this is what the Lord actually said. He said, I want them to understand me. And this is what he told me. I want you to focus on revealing my beauty to the people. And so he said that he was going to reveal his beauty to me so I could share it with the people. And then he said, I want the people to get to know me and know that I am love. So I would like to read from Psalms 27, 4. And this is really, really interesting when you read this. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and, the, and to inquire in his temple. And so now this is really, really powerful because David here is talking about dwelling in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. And because he's saying there's a reason, um, he says here to behold the beauty of the Lord. So it's something he was experiencing, the beauty of the Lord when he was in the house of the Lord, the house of God. And so I want to share with you guys uh, how the Lord actually revealed his beauty to me. So what I did I went before him because I had an event to do and he wanted uh, to reveal his beauty to the people. And so I went before him and I said, okay, Lord, um, you said you were going to reveal your beauty to me so I can share it with the people. So I went before him. And so uh, I closed my eyes and he said he was going to show me his beauty. And so I closed my eyes and I was just waiting on him, just waiting for him to show me this beauty and I don't know what I was expecting to see I don't know maybe lightning bolts maybe you know <laughs> power and fire and all this uh, you know cool excitement um, special effects and so I started to see a vision and so the first vision that I actually saw I saw people actually getting dressed uh, to go into a party they were getting dressed, they were getting ready to go into a party. And their clothes had so many colors on them. Like, you know, every kind, you know, every kind of color that you can think of, they just had all of these colors uh, in their clothing, different colors of clothing. And so like the colors were like fun, you know, fun colors. Like if you were to go to a kid's party and kids, you know, dress up and you have all of these different colors, you know, and, um, you know, the people were dressed up in all of this, uh, these different colors, like they were going to celebrate, you know, at a kid's party or something like that. And so then I saw next in the vision, I saw a guy, he was standing out. It kind of looked like it could have been like if you're going to a carnival or something like that. I don't know, but I saw a guy standing out and he was greeting people and he was just excited and he had all these colors on and, you know, he was just like excited, wel welcoming the people in. And I saw the people going in, you know, it was like uh, excitement, like a fun place they were about to go into. And later on, when I thought about all these colors, the clothes and everything that everyone had on, I, it reminded me of uh, when the Bible talks about Joseph. And when he had his coat, he had a coat of many colors. And so when I looked back um, at this vision, uh, I thought about that. I thought about his coat, which just had a lot of different colors on it. And so this party, this place that all the people were going into it was like a fun exciting type of place so then after the Lord showed me this I asked him I said Lord what what is this you know and he said this is my beauty he said this is my beauty so um, I really didn't know what to think about it so I was like okay Lord what do you mean this is your beauty I mean what I was seeing was it was like a party people were getting dressed up had all these colors I mean it was a guy he was jumping around he was excited wel welcoming everyone in you know like he could have been a clown like to me I, like the first thought was like I thought he was a clown <laughs> 
and he had on all these colors and jumping around and, and you know excited uh, but the Lord said this is my beauty so I said Lord you know what do you mean and the Lord said I am happy and I am fun I am happy and I am fun and so when the Lord had said that to me um, before I knew it I just started breaking down and crying and as you guys know if you watch my videos when the Lord reveals stuff like that about who he is I don't know I just can't help it I just start breaking down and crying for some reason and so this was one of those times where I just started breaking down and crying because to hear the Lord say that I am happy and I am fun and I saw this place you know this was God's kingdom this was his beauty I actually saw this place where people are dressed up in all of these different colored clothes and then people are excited and jumping around and happy and I see this guy and it's like a clown and I was thinking to myself this is a place this is a party for kids I'm not you know like in my mind and my natural mind and um, you know I would not want to go into that type of party it's a party for kids you know I'm not gonna get dressed up in like 500 different colors and I'm not gonna jump around and just act like a clown so when I was seeing this vision in my natural mind this is not a type of party that I would want to go in because I would think it's for kids it's not for adults I would want to go to the adult party right but to hear the Lord say that this is his beauty and that he is happy and that he is fun I mean it broke me it's something in me broke that I don't really know God I don't really know what heaven is like like you know would I even think heaven is a fun and happy place I know we we you know know that there's no more sorrow and no more pain and all of that stuff but we would you know do we really actually think that it's a place where people are all dressed up in colors and you know you it's just a happy and fun place and God is actually happy and fun a happy God and a fun God so when I actually thought about that and um, it broke my heart that you know our God is really really totally different than who we can think that he is and he's happy and he's fun and even heaven is a place that is you know fun like a party a kids party where kids you know it's like kids and it just looked like a party for kids and so I want to just read with you a few scriptures that basically the Lord Jesus is trying to help us understand who the Father is and what the kingdom of heaven is like and the beauty of the Lord so I'll share these scriptures with you in Matthew 18 3 this is the Lord Jesus saying here and said verily I say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven and I'm telling you when I saw people entering into this place they were happy they were fun they were excited it was a really fun exciting place so in Mark 10 13 through 16 um, this scripture is talking about when people brought children to Jesus and how the disciples rebuked the people and they didn't want the children to be around Jesus and so this is what it talks about here it says and they brought young children to him that he should touch them and his disciples rebuked those who brought them but when Jesus saw it he was displeased he was much displeased and said unto them suffer the little, little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God verily I say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter therein and he took them up in his arms 
and put his hands upon them and bless them. So this is really, really powerful because you have the Lord Jesus saying that unless you receive the kingdom of God as a child, you cannot even enter into the kingdom of God. And then in Matthew 18, 3, the Lord Jesus says here, except you be converted, converted and become as a little child you cannot enter into the kingdom of God then so the thing about it the way we are here you know um, on, in this world when we are children we, we get to a certain age and people tell us don't act like a child anymore you have to grow up you can't be naive people are going to take advantage of you you can't be like that and then here in the word our Lord Jesus is saying we have to be converted back to a child to either to even enter into the kingdom of heaven and so I'm telling you this because when I saw this place it looked like a place where kids you know like just a place for kids you know when in the natural world where we are now I would not have thought that this was a place for adults because it didn't look like adults were there even though I saw people going in but it looked a little more like clowns and you know, people that were dressed up to go to a kid's party, it didn't look like it was an adult party. And so, the, our earth and the way we have been programmed has taken us away from what heaven looks like. You know, the fun and who God is. He is happy and He is fun. And so, to get to know God and to see Him... You know as being happy and fun you know it's almost like a reprogramming of the mind that I had to do you know now like now I have to remember you know I'm thinking about colors I want to be more you know happy and fun and 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 just go back to when I was a child you know that innocence that purity where you can just be who you are and laugh and just have a good time and not have to be serious and one of the things I by me being an apostle you know they expect me to you know um, in the black churches they expect you to be a certain way and to act a certain way and you have to be serious and so that mentality uh, of mine has to be shifted and I have to remember my God is happy and he's fun he's not miserable he's not sad and you know he's not this serious God that is just, you know, miserable. He's fun. He's happy. Heaven is fun and heaven is happy. And the uh, children, the kingdom of heaven is, you know, children. You know, the Lord Jesus says here, he says, suffer the little, little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God. You know, the kingdom of God is little children. You know, and so just imagine if you have a kingdom that's filled up with little children, it's going to be fun. You know, you're not going to have little children there and they're going to be all serious and trying to be adults. You know, it's going to be a fun place. So this was just a beautiful revelation of God's beauty. He said this is his beauty. His beauty is that he is happy and he is fun. So we just have to see God as being happy and being fun and I know it may be you know a little um, renewal of the mind type of thing but when you're around little children just have fun be happy um, you know if you're at church just have fun and be happy you know don't get caught up in this mentality that we have to you know we have to be like this and you know we can't be happy and we can't have fun because you're an adult now you have to act a certain way and I just want to share this with you guys. God does not want us to act a certain way. You know, he does not want us to act a certain way. When, when you're a child, you're a certain way. You know, and you, you shouldn't have to change that to fit in with this world system and what they think you should be. The Bible says we have to be converted. We have to get back to that. We have to get back to being a little child because if not, it says in Matthew 18, we can't even enter the kingdom of heaven. We won't fit in there. Like I was telling you when I saw this place, I saw all these colors. It looked like a kid's party to me. It wasn't a place that I would go in because 
I didn't think it was a party for adults. I would try to find the adult party, but that is heaven, you know? And and for me to even think like that, you know, lets me know that my mindset is not right. <laughs> so I've been trying to change that mindset. I want to fit in in heaven. I want to believe that, you know, I want to go into that fun party. You know, I want to be converted to be as a little child and um, so that I can enter in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, teaching, this revelation, this, um, you know, this uh revelation of God's beauty basically that's what it is it's a revelation of his beauty that he revealed to me to share with his people he wants us to know him and know that he is love and love is perfectly pure and happy and fun you know when you think about it love is fun love is happy love is not miserable love is not all serious and um, uptight but love is our God and he is happy and he is fun. And so I hope this touched your heart and really changed your, your uh, uh, I guess, vision, your picture of who God is like it did me. It really changed uh, the way I see God. So I hope you guys were blessed and I will see you in the next video. God bless.